Hello and welcome to Gabe's Games. Thank you so much for coming to me play through some more of Spider-Man Miles Morales today. I'm continuing where I left off and we're about to attack the shield guy. They've made an appearance again. Whether or not it's Spider-Man 2018 or Marvel's Avengers or any game where they just can't think of a cooler way to actually make a bad guy, it's always the shield guy who is our super powerful superhero's arch nemesis. Even the Avengers in the Avengers game which has come out actually struggle against shield type enemies. It's just like, what? So Thanos equals shield type enemies. The Avengers struggle against Thanos and suddenly <laughs> it's really hard to take out a shield guy. It's like, oh no, if I'm the Hulk in Avengers, I just want to take out a shield guy. I want it to be able to work. Spider-Man here also struggles against shield guys. And I'm struggling just for a little bit here to take this guy out. <laughs> Uh. Anyway, I actually just figured out that I can't actually attack the shield guys with the ordinary venom attacks because that actually bounces back at you and then does damage to you, so that's not a great plan. However, I think the venom boost still works really well, but the venom punch, not so much. That's not a good attack to use against guys with shields because it comes straight back at you. But that's actually a really cool design. I've got to. I think it's actually really good that Spider Man has an enemy that he has to think a little bit more about how to defeat, but it's just that in Marvel's Avengers you have the shield guys as the enemy, in Spider-Man you have the shield guys, and I just have encountered so many different shield type enemies as the more difficult enemy type in so many different games now that I'm just like, oh I've seen this before. Anyway, those bad guys are now defeated. Cool. Oh, that was super cool cloaking tech. How does it Work. You take the left, I'll take the right. <laughs> Sweet. Some Essex the Prowler and Spider-Man co-op action. That's so cool! Don't worry, we can take these guys. And it's honestly giving me really awesome Spider-Man to the Spider-Best vibes. It's so good to see them teaming up. In my mind, just imagining the Prowler from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse and Spider-Man teaming up is just such a good combination. Particularly Miles' Spider-Man teaming up with the Prowler is really, really cool. Sweet! I was just so tempted to see how much damage I can actually do because I've never had a moment where I can actually just full unleash all my abilities and have a whole bunch of enemies to attack. So this was really cool testing ground. We're not alternating very well then. I also feel like the Prowler is actually slow. Oh, I got really badly damaged there. Uh, this whole section is done in one take. This is my first time playing it. I'm going through Spider-Man blind. Some sections I've played before, but this is literally just me figuring this out for the first time. Oh, I absolutely must admit the co-op takedowns here are so cool. That is actually wicked. Something's happening there to make that lot look smooth. <laughs> uh, I'll let some of the combat play without my voice. Okay, this is where it gets really intense. And I like to play games on hard. I don't think that Spider-Man Miles Morales is the hardest game in spectacular difficulty, but this was actually really cool. It was like so intense. I feel like this is a test of how hard the game can be. That made me just go, whoa! That was so cool! And I end up spamming Venom attacks a lot here, and I feel like you can play this section for a while as long as you can recharge your Venom attacks. And I feel like having your Venom attacks just spam is so good. This is the part of the game where you should actually be running, but I was determined to see how much of a challenge I can actually take and how much I can actually keep on going. But I really didn't do this as intensely as I could have. The moment it got heated, I was like, nah, let's go. But in the meantime, I utilized that Venom attack so much. <laughs> I was not stopping. I was definitely going to use that to my advantage. And I thought I was going to be able to keep going for a while too. But I decided that that was the moment I'd like. I love this play. You need to lay low. Don't trust anybody and don't take off that mask. Wait till Roxxon finds a better target. I can't lay low. 
I still need to find Finn. Your friends, the Tinker. No wonder you care so much about this. Through the wall! Go! It's not just that. I'm... Protecting New York is my job. Use Finn. Tell her you want to join the underground. You just told me don't take off the mask. Don't tell her you're Spider-Man. Go to her as a friend. No, she's too smart for that. You'd be surprised. People get stupid when they care about someone. Like you're being stupid now. If I told her the truth... I told your dad the truth. Thought he'd have my back. Or he would. And my brother. Instead, he cut me out. If I kept my mouth shut, maybe I'd still have a family. You know what you have to do. Through the wall! Go! Damn! I always thought of Jefferson Davis as such a stand-up guy. So, it's so strange to me in the way that the Prowler describes it here that he gets cut out. It seems like the Prowler was genuinely trying to do the right thing. And the way that Jefferson Davis actually treats Spider-Man makes me think that he'd actually be willing to team up with the Prowler in the first place. I'd also have genuinely no idea why it repeated the word through the wall, go, randomly in two different spots. It's crazy. I've been running some numbers, and I know you said no to ads before, but maybe we could reconsider- Honestly, reckon it might be a launch for your spike. No, of course not. I'm just saying. So did you find Finn's phone? Yeah, but uh, it melted after I absorbed energy from a new form reactor. But what? How are you not dead? Felt like it was for a minute there. But then I released all the energy in kind of a mini explosion. Luckily, I didn't bring down the whole lab. Man, because when I play games, I find supplies. I'm gonna pick up the supply. So, what's the plan now? Uncle Aaron thinks I should tell Finn I want to join the underground. Then I could take the new form so she doesn't use it for whatever. Whoa, like lie to her face? Yeah, but I don't have any other leads. You know what we need? Don't say a pros and cons list. A pros and cons list, exactly. I gotta make a move, man. I guess. Well, good luck. Call if you need me. Sweet! I was actually thinking that my current suit doesn't look as cool as the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse suit. So, I'm gonna change that up right now. But as I was actually going to do that, I got distracted by all of these cool suit mods. And visor mods. So I'm gonna have a look at some upgrades. I like the look of this one. This one looked really cool. More gadgets? Absolutely. I was tempted by this one, but I didn't get it. This one though, I absolutely went, hell yeah. Now we're having a look at some visor mods. Anything Venom related at all, I am so happy to upgrade my Spider-Man with. That also looks pretty cool, so let's buy it. Sweet! Now give me some Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse suit! Oh, I feel so much better putting that on. It's just like, yes! I deserved it. He's weak. Oh, that felt so cool! Alright! Please enjoy some combat with that, my boys! I take these guys out with no damage too. Too slow, kid! Let that be a lesson! Oh, I 
Just don't do it again. Cool. I like your authority, Spider-Man, but sir. Uh... <laughs> uh, I didn't realize I couldn't actually not looking for another Venom launch the big guys. Yeah, honestly, that just feels so much better. Okay. Oh, I, I like the Spider-Man into the Spider-Vest suit a lot. Let me in the underground. Hey, Miles. You okay? Uh, yeah. Why would you say that? Oh, uh, I saw the news about your mom's rally. We're fine. Do you have time to get coffee, maybe? I can make time. There's a place on Edison, near Fisk Tower. They don't do foam art, but people don't take pictures of their lattes, so worth it. <laughs> okay, meet you there. Okay, halfway into infiltrating a dangerous group of criminals. That's okay. a conversation that I really want to see, but I just hope that their relationship doesn't break up. Alright, I think I've finished this video here. Thank you guys so much for coming to see some more of Gabe's games today. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Next, we're going to go and talk to Finn.